long time is not like that much of an, uh, an issue because you can get the damage really easily, especially if your character has combos. But we're gonna get into this next set here between Fox 16 and Mega Fox 16, the snake, and Mega this uh, Incineroar. And this yeah, speaking of heavy characters, here we got an Incineroar going up against Snake. You know, maybe he'll be able to absorb some of these grenades and some of these explosives here to get him some charge-ups. Yeah, it definitely, definitely looked like he uh, tried that just now. Um, he does have to have the timing down. Uh, in this matchup, I would say, you know, it, it might be kind of even, except in the offstage, uh, like, uh, Incineroar has a really hard time getting back uh, to the stage. Recovery is pretty linear. Uh, it goes really far. Oh, that might be the stock. Yes, it is. It gets the side B at the ledge. And Mega only at 97%, living, uh, already destroying Fox 16 on the first stock. Here we go. Fox 16 trying to get some extra damage in there. Right? And that was his first hit on the second stock here. Oh, and he was able, not able to kill because, like we said, Incineroar is such a heavy character. But luckily, with the uh, uh, up smash, he was able to. Yeah, uh, uh, up smash covering the cross chop attempt from uh, Mega. Not entirely safe. He did. Uh, he is able to traverse the platform on the way down, but the uh, up smash hitbox just met him and got him before he could even get there. Uh, dead even percent right here. Another side B by the ledge from Mega. It's not going to be enough to get the kill. But putting Fox 16 off stage. Getting a dash attack and 94% onto Fox 16, who's back at the ledge. And uh, Mega is really favoring this uh, ledge trap set uh, setup, which is it's pretty strong to just put your uh, opponent at the ledge and just react to them like getting up or, or jumping with the with the side B. Um, Ooh, look at that spot dodge there. He was trying to go for a dash attack and he just passed Snake just by. Here we go, and he's, I'm surprised he's not doing much while Snake is recovering. He has so much that he can do, but I see Mega here just waiting at the ledge, but hopefully he'll be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe he's being more careful because the grenade was able to finish him. Yeah, and, and another factor is I don't really see uh, Mega going off stage too much in this matchup yeah. because for the most part, Incineroar plays on the stage. Uh, like, as I mentioned before, his recovery is not too good. He does have a plethora of kill options from the stage. He does get that forward tilt for the kill, and we're back to even stocks. And the percent actually now in Mega's favor. 53 already racked onto Fox 16. Cross chop to get back up on the stage over. Uh, I like it. I respect it. It was a good mix up to get back on the stage. Otherwise, he might have just gotten gimp. So he took some damage in favor of actually just keeping his stock. Oh, and here we go. We have Snake at 85%. Wow, he's trying to go for that grab. He's scary there. He's going up for those up smashes. Okay. Oh. That might be it. Yes. Oh. oh, my God. And that is in. Insane at 100% killing Snake off of the side. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 has a, uh, actually has decent like side blast zones, but the fact that Snake is so heavy and dies off the side like that, like so early is, is, is ridiculous. I mean, the, the knockback is insane and, and the damage, that, that move is crazy. Uh, he didn't even use like revenge with it. You know what I mean? Like if, uh, if Mega is able to get any of these revenge going on the grenades or any of uh, Snake's hitboxes at all, uh, he, he could be killing Fox 16 a lot earlier. Oh, look, we see you're here. Fox 16, like, circulating around, thinking about, man, maybe should I play Snake again? You know, maybe I should pull up another character he has, here. He has a Ganon that he's been using recently, and I did see him hover a little bit towards the Ganon. Yes, oh. it is. There it is. It's going to come out and play. Fox 16 with the Ganon. We're going to game number two, Smashville. Reminder, this is Edmund and Angelife on the mic. Oh, thank you so much. Here we go. And we got heavy versus heavy happening. Like, very hard-hitting characters on a very big stage. So I'm excited to see some neutral happening. This stage is, like, uh, one of the smaller stages. Like, oh, yeah, oh you're right. It's, it's actually, like, in terms of blast zone and just stage size. Oh, my God. Fortunate recovery there for Fox 16 is already taking 91 percent cross shop gonna get both hits in fact uh mega doing really well on this game number two here we go we see ganon trying to throw out some kicks there trying to hope hope that one of them lands oh and he's able to get him in a grab and yeah, this is how he gets started i mean already the percent is he's halfway there so even though ganon has taken a, a ton of percent fox 16's not gonna fret too much knowing 
that it only takes a couple hits to bring it right back. And that's it. About four hits and back to even Ooh. game. Catching the roll in with the up smash. Fox 16 moving up a stock. Ooh. Oh, man. One, 141. Right. That is easy, easy to get. Fox 16 is making a statement right now. I mean, he, he saw Mega with all these command grabs in game number one. He's like, oh, you think you can side B? I'll show you a side B. <laughs> neutral air. Another neutral air. Three for three. Oh, my ooh, God. If he just held that a little bit longer, he just would have, ooh. I think, I think uh, he needed to hold it a little, like, uh, release it a little bit earlier, earlier, yeah, earlier. To, to beat out the hitbox. But nonetheless, we're down to two stocks of Bs. Side B, uh, just... Incineroar is coming out a little bit faster. No jump here. Oh. Wow, just wasn't able to make it. Just barely. It's so hard to recover with yeah. these characters, you know? Yeah, especially if you expend your jump. I mean, if you have your jump, uh, his upbeat does kind of magnet handle the ledge. So uh, Ganon will make it pretty far from uh, down below. Oh, we tried to use... Uh, I, whoa, what uh, a combo. Oh, my gosh. I almost thought that he had fallen yeah, off that I, stage. If that was me, I would have died, yeah. <laughs> 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 but luckily, we got Mega here. We got... Ooh, Pro. beautiful edge guard from Fox 16 using the reverse up B in uh, that situation to get himself to a last stock situation. Excellent landing from Mega with the darkest lariat there. Oh, that's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he had to he had to mess that timing up, which it, it, to lose that. So Man. great stuff to Mega with the 2-0. That grab, that instant yeah. grab, it just gets every stock. It's, I swear. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it, it's kind of can be difficult. I mean, it, it like it's pretty slow, but from a certain distance, it, the it's it's like threatening all the time. So yeah, pe people kind of let Incineroar get away with that a little bit too much because for the most part, like if if you space. So basically, what you want to do is you want to space yourself at like max distance away from that Incineroar side B because it is really slow. Right. Um, but. Once you see him trying to go for that, then you can react and jump over it. Uh, or even if you're just, you know, dash back. A dash back, and if you have a good disjoint, like a good, like if you are Lucina, you right. dash back, forward smash. And then forward like smash, that. yep. Yeah. You're but so right. You just got to watch out for it because it is really slow. Then go for the punish right after. But Ganon is, Ganon is slow as hell too. So, like, <laughs> I, I don't see Ganon in particular. Like, Fox 16 wasn't really going for a dash back, forward that smash, punish like that per se. But, um... Just uh, actually, I just that that matchup might just be in Incineroar's favor as well. Like, yeah, you think so? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know per se, but I haven't seen the matchup too often. Like, but I know like I've I've got to play Incineroar versus Lucario recently, and I was just like, wow, okay, that matchup seems like the two powerhouses. It's just, <laughs> it's just even as hell because you never know what's gonna go on. Exploding like, like at high percents, honestly. <laughs> Oh man, that must have been great to watch. Yeah. Lucario versus Incineroar. Oh, it was it was fun to play. I, yeah, <laughs> I was I was playing. It was me and Z Fly. He was playing Lucario. I was playing Incineroar, and and uh, yeah. I it, hope it to hear fun. him on mic later today it too. It was fun to say the least. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Z Fly. He's, of, he's he's here. He's here. Yeah, um, I saw him earlier. So all dressed up and stuff. Commentator ready. Yeah. So. Really cool. I he's know. He's always dressed up, though. I think he comes here like straight off, straight off of work. So he's he's always wearing like a, a nice dress shirt. That's how it is for some in. people. But he doesn't know? untuck, dude. He likes to keep it like you know. Clean. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, Heavy and I were talking about it earlier. How MSM starts so late, but it's because it is on a Monday. Yeah. A lot of people do come straight from work yep. right here. Yeah, I mean, I I, I did. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, I, so it's like actually a great time for a lot of these people, but because of that it does end on the later side. Yeah. You know. Though it's impressive with the like efficiency and proficiency that 2GG staff has. Very true. Um, Shout these out to 2GG, man. End by like 1 a.m. at the latest with like 150 people starting at 8:30 is pretty good. So shout outs to 2GG and shout outs to the stream if you're just joining us. This is Mega Smash Mondays 183. My name is Edmund. This is Angela from Angela Life Cosplay. And, yep, we're here at MSM 183, you 183. said? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to the big 200. Woo. I still don't know what 2GG has in the works from that. I can, I can expect, like, uh, at least a, a, a special event at that MSM. And maybe, just maybe, a, uh, like, tournament reveal at the end of it. Like, maybe yeah. Infinity Saga? I don't know. 
I don't know. Infinity Saga. I would love that. How about, you how know, about Smash 4 Saga? <laughs> I saw that on Twitter today, and it was trending. It's Smash real. 4 Saga. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's real. Very cool. A it's lot of happening. people were thinking that it was like an April Fool's joke. I think it's real. He's like, look up the corner, like, it's real. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know, a lot of people give Smash 4 some know. hate, but I, I'm a little bit nostalgic about it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it too, but I'm not, I'm not feeling nostalgia about it at all. <laughs> Ultimate, uh, it was a great follow-up, so people were 